Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the problem of the day is uh, the following human pedigree shows a family affected by a specific disease. Assume that the individuals marked with an asterisk do not carry any allele associated with uh, affected phenotype and that no other mutation spontaneously occurs. Also assume complete penetrance. And here is the list of the questions. So we don't need the text anymore. So here's a list of the questions. Uh, first, state the most likely mode of inheritance of this disease. Choose from autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, X-link dominant and X-link recessive. We can cross out um, right away uh, autosomal dominant because for autosomal dominant, in order, for example, for this person to be affected, one of his parents also have to carry this um, dominant allele. And we see that none of the parents are affected. So this is not autosomal dominant. Can it be, for example, X-link dominant? And uh, once again, in X-link dominant situation, we see that uh, males would be affected and females would be unaffected. But we see that this female is affected. So, for example, if uh, she got this um, X-link dominant um, genetic disorder from um, one of the X chromosome receiving from her mother's side, her mother also would be affected. And if uh, this female got this X-link dominant genetic disorder from her father's side, uh, he, of course, uh, father also would be affected because uh, he has only one X chromosome, so we can say that this is not X-link dominant. Can it be X-link recessive? For example, uh, if uh, this is going to be X-link recessive, uh, if this female got this X-link recessive allele from her father's side, her father has to be also affected because he has only one X uh, chromosome. And if she got this uh, recessive allele from her mother's side, she also wouldn't be affected because uh, she would have another normal chromosome receiving from her father's side. And we know that father has normal uh, X-link um, allele because his phenotype is normal. So we can cross out this variant too. And as you see, the only variant um, possible here would be autosomal recessive genetic disorder. And uh, for example, this female would have a genotype small a, small a, and her parents have to be heterozygous, so have to be capital A, small a, and capital A, small a here. So uh, in this case, as you see, um, they would have probability, which is one quarter, to have an affected child. And though they have five children and two of them are affected, so genotype of this um, male also would be small a, small a, but this is not necessary that uh, exactly 25% of the children would inherit this genetic disorder. We also may see that all of them may inherit this genetic disorder, or sometimes none of them would inherit this genetic disorder. So many different variants are possible. And uh, next question, write all possible genotypes of the following the individuals in the pedigree one through five. Use uppercase A for the allele associated with the dominant type, phenotype and lowercase A for the allele associated with the recessive phenotype. So uh, we cannot say for sure the genotype of the person one. Uh, so this couple have uh, a son who is heterozygous. So he got one dominant allele from one of the parents. We don't know uh, which parent. And he got recessive allele also from one of the parents. So whether his, uh, say, father can be heterozygous or mother can be heterozygous so we can put 
um, genotype as um, capital A and blank space. We know that uh, each parent has capital A because they have normal phenotype. So they cannot have, for example, one parent uh, homozygous dominant and another parent cannot be homozygous recessive. So both of them uh, whether have to be homozygous dominant or uh, heterozygous. And as for this person, we also can say that he have to have dominant allele, but the second allele we don't know. It can be dominant or recessive. And uh, as for the uh, genotypes of the uh, number 4 and 5, what is the probable genotypes? It is easy. Uh, so genotype of this person would be capital A, capital A, because this is uh, outcross, this person is not genetically related here, and uh, we assume that uh, this person would have normal genotype. And uh, that means if one parent is homozygous dominant, another is homozygous recessive, that number four would be obligate heterozygous. And uh, according to our problem, we know that a person that shown here with asterisk, uh, we have to assume that uh, this person is homozygous normal. So capital A, capital A. And uh, question C, what is the probability that individual 5 will be a carrier? And uh, this time, let's build a Punnett square. Uh, this female genotype we put on top, capital A and small a, genotype of this female and genotype of this male, we put on the side capital A, capital A. And when we build the Punnett square, we would be able to see all the possible outcomes of such a cross. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A and capital A here, and capital A, small a here. So, uh, the probability that a person number 5 would be a carrier, as you see, would be 50%. So we call a person a carrier, uh, such a person who is phenotypically normal, but also carries a recessive allele. And probability that uh, this person is heterozygous is 50%. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Please share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.